Hi friends, I'm super excited for our story time today. I've actually been waiting all summer to do this story. So before we get started with our story, let's light our candle. If you've got somebody with you, light a candle together. Take just a minute to be a little bit quiet and to remember that Jesus is always with us, even in the darkest places. We'll learn about that more in our story today, how God was very much with Paul in the adventures that he has today. And then remember that it is such a gift to be with other people who love us and that we are better together when we experience our storytelling with someone else. So grab somebody, and give them a really tight squeeze and let them know that they are a blessing to be with you. Now, for today's story, I'm gonna move this stuff a little bit. I have a lot of things with me right now. And I have to tell you that we are going to need to do a lot of imagining today with our story. Usually the stories that we talk about are stories that are in one of my children's Bibles. This one is in the big Bible, but it is not in any of my four children's story Bibles that I have here at home. So I have a wide cast of characters here that I'm going to use to help tell our story. I also created an Imagine Hat. And if you have a special hat that you think will help you imagine the parts of our story that might be a little bit hard to imagine otherwise, I would encourage you to go grab your Imagine Hat and put it on your head. Here I am with my Imagine Hat, and now we have to get out my friend Flat Paul because he has been the star of all of our summer stories. Let me introduce you to the rest of the folks that are going to be part of our storytelling time today. All right, so we have a snake. Hello, Mr. Snakey. Set him down. Now, we've got some people that are going to, we're going to pretend they're from the island of Malta. So the Backyardigans are going to be our friends from Malta because they look different than the people who are going to be part of the group that are on the ship with Paul. Okay? And we'll talk about how being different it plays out a little bit in the story. Then we are going to focus on five, count them, five. That is a lot of points in one story. So listen closely, and if you want to write them down, you can. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna tell you the five things to listen to in the story, and then we're gonna go outside and I'm gonna do some fun little skits with all these guys and then when we come back inside, we'll review the five points of the story and we'll see if you were able to listen and imagine and come up with answers to the five questions, okay? So the first one is there is a promise from God. So listen for a promise from God. The second one is there's a disaster of some sort. So listen in the story for a promise from God, and then a disaster. And then kindness from strangers. So number three is watch for kindness from strangers. Number four, watch for a snake bite. Ooh, see what happens with that. And then number five, there's an opportunity for Paul to teach. Now, actually, there's a couple opportunities, a couple of, of teaching opportunities. So if you come up with even one of them, you've done great, all right? Now, here's the next thing that requires a little bit of imagination. Paul is going to be on a ship, and I need my Paul puppet for several more stories. So we're going to give Paul a rain jacket. We're actually just going to stick him in this Ziploc bag and hope that everything goes well. So here's Paul 
in its raincoat. Ta-da! Now let's head outside and let's start doing some storytelling and imagining. All right, Paul, we set sail tomorrow. I respect that you're in charge, but I think that's a horrible idea. It's the rainy season. Doesn't matter. We have to get you to row. Well, it's not going to do anybody any good if we have an accident and nobody gets to row. Go to sleep. We leave in the morning. Good morning, Paul. Are you ready to go? I am ready to go. I still think it's a bad idea, but I have to tell you, I had a dream last night. Paul, you have the weirdest dreams ever. Well, this dream makes me feel better about our voyage, because in this dream, God told me that everybody who is on this ship will make it to Rome alive. Well, that's good, because I thought we were going to make it to Rome alive anyway. Get on the ship. Let's get going. someone to be bowed down to. I'm just a normal guy. And there is only one God, and that is the God that is in heaven. The very same God that loves you and you and you and all of you. And that very God loves all of you the same. Even though you don't talk the same, and you don't dress the same, and you don't look the same. Praise be to that God. Amen. That was an awful lot of storytelling and imagining, don't you think? I hope it was fun for you. Now, let's review the five things that we were supposed to take out of this story. The first one was there was a promise from God. 
Do you remember what the promise from God was? Okay, so here's how I saw the promise from God. Do you remember at the very beginning of the story and Paul had said that it would not be safe for them to take the ship out during the winter season. But then he had a dream. And in his dream, God told him that they would be safe and that all of the people would arrive back in Rome safely. So that was the promise from God. The second one was a disaster. What was the disaster? You're right. The disaster was the big storm and shipwreck. And all of a sudden, all of Paul's friends that were on the ship ended up stranded on an island. That was our disaster. And that led us to kindness from strangers. Do you remember how the people from Malta, even though they didn't speak Paul's language and they didn't look like Paul's friends, they were super kind and they built a fire for them? Do you remember that? That was kindness from strangers. And then there was the snake bite. Do you remember the snake bite? And the people from Malta thought that Paul should have died from the snake bite, but Paul lived. And then they thought Paul was a god. And that led us to the very teachable moment, right? When Paul helped the people understand that he was not a god, but that there was one true God in heaven and that God loved all of Paul's friends and all of the people from Malta all the same. I hope you liked our story today, you guys. Let's pray. Oh, dear God, it is so precious to see how you cared for Paul through all of his travels and it helps to remind us how you care for us in all of the things that we go through as well. In your name we pray. Amen. Everybody have a great week, okay? Bye-bye.